took you. Actually, over the next couple of days. And you can see here, much of the convection has long since, or the storminess, has long since uh, waned and weakened. You barely see any... Uh, you barely see any storminess with this, so this is expected to weaken quite rapidly. But let's return to the U.S. We find that autumn air mass in place across much of the eastern half of the country. That's that high, by the way, with that in part helping to produce that strong pressure gradient. And here's a Pacific front that's uh, intermingling with monsoonal moisture, producing some storms. But our highest chances of stormy weather in the areas of Orange, Florida, the coast of Texas, and getting into the southwest. We'll have more on this as time goes on during Weather Center. That's up. minutes before the top of the hour. Time now for Storm Watch. In a moment, I'll pinpoint the best chance for thunderstorms in the lower 48. But we begin with our tropical update and tropical storm Francis. And we'll start you out with the latest coordinates. And if you're plotting at home, you can uh, go ahead and plot those coordinates down. 225 miles southeast of Brownsville, Texas. Sustained winds remain at 45 miles per hour. Still nearly stationary. The central pressure has gone down about one millibar. An indication that maybe, maybe Maybe this might be trying to strengthen, but that's just a maybe at this point. We'll continue to watch for any more trend in the downward direction as far as the central pressure is concerned. Again, this has been nearly stationary, and that's been a factor for over 24 hours now, so we'll continue to watch. Uh, you can say, well, gee, it looks like it moves southward. It's actually once the reconnaissance went back in there during uh, the evening and late evening on Wednesday, notice that the center of circulation appears to be located a little further south. It has not moved. It's just been kind of relocated so we'll continue to watch this as far as movement it's really tough to say what's going to happen with francis as we head through the next 12 to 24 hours will it begin to drift westward will it remain stationary there is a very weak flow so there isn't going to be a real quick push in any one direction. So it's going to certainly bear some watching. Tropical storm warnings in effect from High Island, Texas, all the way down to Tampico, Mexico. Areas already getting brushed with some pretty gusty winds, and you get that uh, continual high surf, gusty winds, and rain bands moving on in, making for a very blustery scenario. Also want to mention high tide again early Thursday morning, and that may make some of those coastal roads impassable. As you get the high tide, maybe five to seven feet higher than what you would normally see brushing up along some of those coastal roads. It's going to make things very, very dangerous. So even though we're working with a tropical storm that seems to be fairly ill-organized at this point in time, it still can be a very dangerous storm when you factor in the winds, the higher tide, and the heavy rain that is occasionally falling as we see these bands moving westward toward the Texas coast. Some of the moisture moving on northward too, and you say, well, gee, I'm worried more about these big globs here. These are the higher cloud tops in the infrared satellite picture where some of the convection is taking place. But keep in mind that there's some pretty heavy tropical rains even outside of those bright red areas. You don't have to have the higher cloud tops to get the heavy tropical rains, and some of that has been falling coastal areas of Texas, particularly here, and I'll show you some rainfall amounts in just a moment. As we uh, take a look a little bit further eastward, the Caribbean is fairly quiet, not a lot happening as we head into the central Atlantic, and in fact, even all the way out toward the eastern Atlantic, we continue to see waves moving off the coast of Africa. However, not a whole lot to talk about here. If we see any more convection developing with this particular wave, we'll be a little bit more concerned. Out into the Pacific, Tropical Depression Javier. And there it is, nearly stationary, a minimal tropical depression. We'll continue to watch this, but it's been going undergoing a lot of shear from the east. A little spark of convection firing up there during the overnight. We'll take you back into the lower 48. The one thing that really stands out, of course, is Tropical Storm Francis, but we do have some moisture here, some upslope flow producing a few showers into West Texas, and the moisture continues to feed up across parts of the Southwest. Again, a little jet stream energy. Um, 
translating down toward the surface and we could find some stronger thunderstorms into that region as well. Again, there's a look at your precipitation forecast. The most impressive rains associated with our tropical storm Francis. Some areas have already seen perhaps three to six inches of rainfall and locally could find maybe four more inches. Five inches so far in Harlingdon, Texas, Brownsville, uh, close to that five inch marker. Some of these areas could really stand to see the moisture, but you certainly don't want to get it all at once. That can cause plenty of problems as well. So just to recap, as far as our tropical storm is concerned, still stationary at this point. The big threat is going to be potential for flooding. Watch it again along the coastal roads, particularly during high tide, which occurs again early Thursday morning. You could find that many of the roads are closed. Just keep an eye out for rising water, keep an eye out for flooded roadways, and uh, secure anything in the backyard as the winds begin to pick up as well. We'll have further updates on our tropical storm as we head through the evening. Witness the power of the tarot. With over 22 years of tarot experience, I have witnessed amazing changes. As an expert in this ancient oracle that dates back thousands of years, I will tell you everything you should know. Call now and you will be dealt your very own special tarot cards. Be prepared for an extremely accurate and revealing reading. Tarot cards should not be underestimated. These powerful cards may make all the difference in your life. They have ancient spiritual powers to change lives, reveal fortunes, even generate wealth. As an expert in this ancient oracle, I may reveal money matters, romantic encounters, how to avoid costly mistakes, your future happiness, and how to achieve your dreams. I want the cards to work for you and answer your questions. But you must call now. Caution. A tarot card reading may be... and thank you for joining us on the Weather Channel. Ten minutes before the hour, you've tuned in just in time for Storm Watch. We've just received information, though, that uh, your local forecast may not be correct or updated right now. So if you are having problems with your local forecast, we are aware of it, and we are working on the problem so that uh, you can get your current forecast. We'll have the national forecast coming up in just a moment. Right now, though, let's give you the very latest, our tropical update. We've been talking about tropical storm Francis the last 24 hours. It is still uh, meandering out here in the western Gulf of Mexico. The latest on Francis from the National Hurricane Center has it about 225 miles southeast of Brownsville, Texas. Brownsville is right here, the southernmost fringes of the uh, coastal bend of Texas. So the center of circulation is right in here somewhere. Now we do notice that the bulk of the heavier rain and thunderstorm activity, the deep convection is either east or well north of the defined center of circulation and uh, we've been watching this for the last 24 to 48 hours yesterday you know we were talking about different areas of low pressure found here in the western Gulf of Mexico but it has been determined that this will be considered the main circulation that we will call tropical storm Francis now over the last 24 hours we've certainly had bands and showers of rain all as far north as the Louisiana coast and certainly the Texas coast has received some very heavy rain the southern parts of the state. We'll take a look at the rainfall totals in just a moment. Here is the latest on Francis from the National Hurricane Center. The lowest estimated central pressure, 995 millibars. It's nearly stationary, so it hasn't moved much over the last 24 hours. Winds of 45 miles an hour, and again, it's 225 miles southeast of Brownsville, Texas. Now, we still have tropical storm warnings in effect from High Island, the northern coast of Texas, all the way to Tampico, Mexico, and flood watches are in effect for a southern Texas the coastal bend, and also here the southeastern coast of Louisiana, just south of Lake Pontchartrain. Here's a look at the rainfall estimates now. This is the, of course, Doppler radar, which gives us a running tally of how much precipitation we've seen so far. And with the onshore flow, the influx of moisture from Tropical Storm Francis, notice a very heavy rain we've received already in southern Texas. 
We've had anywhere from three to five inches reports of, and even in some areas, some six inches of rain. The extreme southern parts near South Padre Island, we've had reports that some roads have been uh, washed over, so be careful traveling the coastal highways in southern Texas. As you can see, the ledge into the north indicating the yellows and the oranges with anywhere from three to six inches of rain. Now, this is a look at the current radar, and we still notice the influx of moisture coming in from Houston, Galveston, Beaumont, all the way down to oh, Victoria and Corpus Christi. Brownsville, we've had some showers, but we do have a little break here uh, just north of Brownsville and the extreme southern tip of Texas. But as we go through the day, an additional four to six inches possible, uh, certainly over the next couple of days as we continue to watch our very, very slow moving tropical storm in the western Gulf of Mexico. We are expecting the system to come ashore somewhere south of Brownsville uh, by tomorrow. So we will definitely keep you posted. Here is a look at the broader picture, the western Gulf of Mexico. Other than that, we don't have too much to talk about. It's quiet over the Caribbean. Uh, we've had some squally weather south of Cuba, but nothing organized here across the central Atlantic, a little active, the intertropical convergence zone, but nothing organized. And our wave that came off the African coast, it still has some spin with it, but not a lot of convection and we have four to five days to watch this system because it's a long ways away. Now, we've been talking about tropical storm Javier. It has been downgraded to a tropical depression, and it continues to a weaken as it slowly moves into cooler waters. The lowest estimated pressure with Javier is 1,000 millibars, and it's about 145 miles south-southwest of Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, which is right here, the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula. And we've had a little more convection flaring up with it, but it is expected to weaken even more so as it continues to uh, meander out across open waters. Stay with us. Coming up in a moment, we'll give you the latest. We'll take you to the forecast center on Tropical Storm Francis. Every job has its pressures. Ours just happen to be barometric. Weather Center AM, this morning and every morning. Hey, pull me back. Oh, that feels pretty good. What's this stuff? I'm not going there. No way. Forget about it. Hey, come on. I got an enemy stuff all there. If you want the best, come to your Sherwin-Williams store. It's the only place to get Sherwin-Williams paint. Oh, yeah. Now that sauce is complete without a quick wrench set. And because it's a Craftsman hand tool made in America, it's guaranteed forever. Call now to order your set of six Craftsman quick wrenches in standard or metric for only $19.99 plus shipping and handling. Use your Sears card or their credit card and call 1-800-750-2112. Call right now. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this radio station or newspaper. Tropical weather systems are affected by so many variables. We constantly monitor the situation. If someone is safer by watching the Weather Channel, that's what it's all about. Okay, in this complex, he's here. Okay. You go down the strip, you take a left, and then a right on that street. I don't remember the name of the street, but there's that shop on the corner. Okay. Then you take another left, and the road forks, but you go straight. Straight? How can I go straight if there's a sugar shaker in front of me? The road forks, but the main road is straight. Then you take a left, and then a right, and he's on the left, but you gotta go around because it's one way. You can't turn that way. <laughs> Get out of here. Experience in the GardenState.com now. But King of the Blues, B.B. King! Southern Comfort presents B.B. King's Blues Festival. Friday, September 11th at the PNC Bank Art Center, starring B.B. King, The Neville Brothers, Dr. John, and Storyville. Tickets now at Ticketmaster are flicks or charged by phone. Southern Comfort presents B.B. King's Blues Festival, sponsored by the House of Blues Tours and Talent. Unexpected weather can really mess up your day, and preparing people for it is our business. Business is good. Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel.
morning. It's time now for Storm Watch and your tropical update, which is sponsored by the Home Depot. Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Francis. It's still milling around the western Gulf at this time. Still a rather poorly organized system, and we're definitely seeing some brighter shades of red and oranges, indicating some of the deepest convection and where most of the shower and thunderstorm activity has been. And most of that continues to be east of the center of circulation. Here's the latest. It's now centered about 155 miles east southeast of Brownsville, Texas, with winds of 45 miles per hour. And right now, not moving very quickly, although the forecast models indicate maybe a slight west to northwestward drift will be taking place today. And further strengthening is also a possibility because it's still over some very, very warm water temperatures throughout this region. And upper level winds are looking rather favorable. So further intensification is likely over the next 24 to 36 hours or so. At this point, hurricane or tropical storm warnings remain in effect from High Island, Texas, down towards Tampico, Mexico. Very squally conditions likely within this zone, meaning you'll see some tropical storm force winds. Winds at times over 39 miles per hour will be possible throughout this region. And also some locally heavy rains to go Go along with those stiff winds. Now we also have a chance for more flooding. Flash flood watches continue for southeastern Louisiana and for a large part of south central Texas, which does include those of you in Corpus Christi, Harlingen, and Brownsville, Texas. The radar indicating some very impressive rainfall amounts from southern Texas, especially just south of Corpus Christi. Still bands of locally heavy rain feeding on shore. And the fact that we'll have the heavy rain and a stiff easterly flow means some serious problems today with coastal flooding and coastal beach erosion. We'll have more updates, though, regarding Tropical Storm Francis coming up in just a moment. Coming up next, a live report from the Texas coast where residents feel the effects of Tropical Storm Francis. Stay tuned for Weather Center after your local forecast. This program was sponsored by The Home Depot. As a customer, you're so important to us that you should have the best price all the time rather than just sometimes when other stores think it's convenient for you. Home Depot doesn't have sales because we have an everyday low price. The competitors have to have the sales because they jack their prices up so high. But we keep our prices low every day. You would be out of your mind if you shop someplace else. Pick up water, dirt, and even nails. People count on us to get them through the day. I love that. Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. Now, of course, the big weather story today is what's happening in the tropics with Tropical Storm Francis. It's still a rather poorly organized tropical storm, but we do anticipate some further strengthening to be taking place. In fact, the official forecast does eventually boost Tropical Storm Francis up to about maybe 60 mile per hour winds, perhaps a little bit later. And then eventually, as it starts to pull off towards the west, northwest, it could perhaps make landfall maybe in the next 30 to 36 hours or so. Now here's our satellite picture and we are still seeing some brighter shades of oranges and reds indicating some deep convection, very heavy amounts of rain, some intense thunderstorms around this region and some squally weather too just off the coast southeast of Brownsville, Texas. 
Here's the latest coordinates, 25.5 north, 95.5 west. That is roughly 120 miles east-southeast of Brownsville, Texas, packing maximum sustained winds at 45. However, as I was just mentioning, the official forecast does call for some further strengthening, and winds could be a little bit over 60 miles per hour in the next uh, 24 to 36 hours or so. Tropical storm warnings remain in effect from Tampico, Mexico, running northward all the way over towards High Island, Texas. And within this area, very squally conditions will be likely with some stiff winds and locally heavy rainfall. Now, already we've had some very heavy amounts of rain in some areas, well over a half a foot coming down in some portions right around the Corpus Christi area and over towards Galveston. And right now we have flood watches continuing for south central Texas, including those of you in Corpus Christi, Harlingen, and Brownsville. Also flood watches, too, for the southeastern parishes of Louisiana. The rain has been quite impressive today, continues to stream its way on shore. Very heavy rains around the Houston area, heavy rain too coming in around the Corpus Christi vicinity, and the rain continues to wrap southward. And we will see these bands of heavier rain coming on shore throughout the afternoon and tonight. So again, one of our primary concerns today, beach erosion, coastal flooding, and some serious flooding right along the coastal regions as we were mentioning. Also, there's a chance for some severe weather. At least earlier this morning, possible tornadoes around Matagorda County and Brazoria County. So we'll have to watch out too for some severe weather being spawned from this tropical storm. Now, as we get away from Francis, though, things are calming down for the rest of the tropics. There's just a little weak wave that continues to drift its way towards the west. We've had some showers and thunderstorms south of Hispaniola. The Lesser Antilles, though, looking fairly quiet right now. And a quiet weather regime, too, farther upstream across the Atlantic Basin. Our next tropical wave, though, is just getting ready to come off the coast. There may be a little bit of a twisting motion here, so we'll have to watch this area, too, for the potential for some development. Now, at the same time, though, in the eastern Pacific, we have Tropical Depression Javier. This one with winds of 30 miles per hour is drifting slowly towards the north, and further weakening will be likely. Not a whole lot of uh, activity is associated with uh, Tropical Depression Javier, so again, we'll likely see further weakening as the convection continues to weaken right around Javier. Stateside, though, we have our front kind of sagging its way to, towards the Gulf Coastal region, and that front along with our tropical system here, causing a very tight pressure gradient. So we've been seeing some rather feisty east and northeasterly winds flowing in. And with those strong winds pushing all that water on shore, that is going to help to exacerbate the flooding problem. So again, flooding, beach erosion too, a major concern today for coastal regions of Texas and Louisiana. Also watching out for the possibility of some rough weather, some strong thunderstorms for Texas today, a chance for some bad weather too for parts of Florida, and the weather could be turning rather active too across the Intermountain West. Stay tuned, we'll have more live reports from Corpus Christi, Texas, and further updates on Tropical Storm Francis coming up. Tropical Storm Francis is knocking on Texas's door with heavy rain and flooding in some areas. The latest on the storm next on Weather Center after your local forecast. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is my favorite part. It's the bargain of the month from Coast to Coast, Service Star and True Value. 